If you've ever done anything with electrical engineering, then you'll know what a logic gate is. It's exactly the same thing in Minecraft, except you're not dealing with minute wiring, you're dealing with redstone wire. This is a much more advanced redstone circuitry, so if you're not sure how redstone works, check out the video for that found at the end of this video. The first logic gate we're looking at is called the NOT gate. This is the simplest, it basically switches whatever the current is doing. So, if the input current is on, the output current is off. And if the input current is off, the output is on. Simple. Next is an AND gate. This is set up so that it requires both switches to be on before the current flows. It could be used as a safety switch for TNT detonations. There's a variation of that gate called the NAND gate. This requires both switches to be off before the current flows. Then there's the OR gate. This is simply a redstone wire that has two ways of switching it on. But if one switch is on, the other can't switch it off. See? Then there's the opposite of that called the NOR gate. This means that when one switch is on, the current is off. It requires both switches to be off for the current to work. The last two logic gates are very complicated. There's an XOR gate. This emits a redstone current when one switch is on and the other is off. If they're both on or both off, then no redstone current is emitted. Lastly, there's the XNOR gate. This is a reversed XOR gate, or simply put, when both switches are on or off, the output current is on. When one switch is off and the other is on, the output current is off. Phew. After that gargantuan list of logic gates, click here for the video about redstone wire, and up here for the video on redstone currents for beginners.